Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna be reacting to an SCP battle. And this battle is between SCP-096 and SCP-173. These are two of the most terrifying SCPs that I've ever read. So we're gonna see what would happen if they fought it out, if they duked it out. I think I know who would win, but we're gonna see. This is an SCP Explained animation. If you wanna see more, leave a like. Let's get into it. Let's see what we got cooking here. Dr. Dan anxiously paced in his cell. Dr. It was the Dan. only way he'd been able to occupy himself for the past six months, save for pouring through files and, when he was lucky, being okay. able to oversee another failed termination attempt. He only stopped pacing when, for a brief and horrible moment, he realized that Monster was probably doing the exact same thing in its big metal cube at this very moment. That horrible creature that he'd thrown away his life for a futile shot at killing. Yeah. Perhaps the whole thing had been a fool's errand. After all, he was formerly a researcher under the employ of the SCP Foundation. Secure, so he's a contained, ex researcher, fact. but he they tried to kill the SCP. Beasts like SCP 106, the nightmarish old man, and SCP 352 Baba Yaga in containment cells, and there was no plans to terminate either of them. They weren't the Global Occult Coalition for 343's sake. Why did Dr. Dan even want to terminate SCP-096 in the first place? Yeah. He tried to explain it to them why again. Did he wanna, why did he want to kill him, bruh? But his pleas had fallen on deaf ears. In his mind, the impetus for destroying the Shy Guy was terrifyingly clear. The Shy Guy. It was guy. a monster that killed anyone or anything that looked at its face. Even a photograph of it. Even a tiny collection of pixels. When its rage state was induced, it seemed that nothing would stop it. That's terrifying, it though. Imagine, like, intuitive just seeing the smallest glimpse of something and then it just running after you and just, like, slicing your head off. And that sounds like a fun way to go to me. Psychic link to its victim, charge at them at breakneck speed, and only find its zen again once all of them were dead. And if a picture of SCP-096 was say? leaked onto the internet, it would cause a chain reaction that triggered an XK class end of the world scenario. There were plenty of creatures and entities that the Foundation knew about that could theoretically bring about the apocalypse. Yeah, but of course. Him, 096 was the most realistic. But that doesn't make any sense because I think this this doctor's going a little crazy. You see, because this would require a picture of it being leaked, and if it's in containment, then no one's going to be in there taking a picture of it unless they just like want to see humanity burn. I think some of these other things could theoretically destroy the world easier and by themselves without relying on a picture being taken of it. You know what I'm saying? It preyed upon the inherent curiosity and thirst for knowledge seated in every human heart. Mm, little heart the there. same drive to Yummy. simply know that led to the creation of the SCP Foundation would be humanity's doom in the face of an SCP-096 outbreak. And if such a thing Shy happened, guy. the Foundation would need to break the masquerade of secrecy to have any hope of saving humanity. In his many feverish nightmares, Dr. Dan had seen it all so clearly. The first photographs of SCP-096's face would be leaked online. Perhaps a few hundred people across the globe would look, in disparate enough locations that it would be almost impossible for the Foundation to detect and save all of them as SCP-096 yeah. went on its bloody rampage. But imagine okay. like that happens in real life modern times. If it was just on TikTok or something, millions of people would have seen it. So, like, they'd be dead instantly. Or not instantly, as the but image quickly. proliferated, as images on the internet often do, the purview of 096's violence would only grow. Yep, people that's exactly what I just said. People nation would start to take notice. And soon after that, across the world, mysterious creature causing mass casualties would be the headline on every news desk. It because would be. why would anybody want to talk about anything else? Perhaps some foolish reporters would take video footage of the creature. Everyone has a uh, phone no. these days with high definition Don't think so, buddy. cameras. Pictures would be taken and posted. More and more of it would flood the internet. Too many simultaneous moles for even the SCP Foundation to whack. The news would spread. Panic and hysteria would spread. People would. wouldn't even know what's triggering all this horror if it the would. Foundation didn't go public and tell them that. And that means the that they would have to compromise their entire everyone. secrecy and to by then, save the world. Wouldn't it already be too late? And yeah, the answer be too late. to fear is knowledge. It's why when anything goes wrong, we're refreshing timelines and feeds and news websites for any kind of information. 
And if you were told an unstoppable monster was killing scores of people and might be coming to a neighborhood near you sometime soon, you'd be pretty soon, spooked if I would do something myself. Wouldn't you look at it? Wouldn't you want to know? I would not want to look at it. No. Having no idea that the mere act of knowing was what sealed your horrible fate. By Dr. Dan's bleak estimations, if only several million people died as a result of this kind of scenario, it could be considered a positive outcome. He'd seen it all, but no matter how many times he tried to articulate this to his superiors, he wasn't listened to. It I don't think I listened to him either, because it's gone up, like, it's been to this point where nothing got leaked of it, so I would not, why would it suddenly get leaked? It's almost like he's, like, being over over overprotective of it you know it's like up until now it hasn't been linked so why why are you just now saying that it has a possibility seriously every time he warned of the apocalyptic potential of scp-096 he was simply told to get back to working on those goggles it was why he needed to give those naysayers a demonstration it was why a certain photograph needed to show up in the home of a certain mountaineer it's mm -hmm. why all those people had to die. There was no other way. Oh, well, there was. The but he didn't want and him. the researchers and the mobile task force members were, of course, regrettable. But it was the only way to prevent the deaths of so many more. They gave him what he wanted. Permission to put this gangly time bomb in the ground. Even if the beast's death was inextricably tied to his own execution at the hands of the very employers who authorized him. The world was full of funny little ironies like that. Mm -hmm. Another one is that even though Dr. Dan now had the authorization and funding to terminate SCP-096, he was discovering that he lacked another important factor, the capability. Yeah, how, how is he going to when he can't even look at it? Exposing it to massive amounts of radiation, exposing no. it to an insane degree of kinetic trauma, the equivalent nah. of being hit by an out-of-control bullet train. What matter? They tested every kind of experimental, off-the-books weaponry that they had access to through various research projects. Proton blasts, lasers, high-intensity energy beams. Nothing. None of it worked, of course. Even we already know this. Even fried off every scrap of flesh on the monster's body, its unbreakable skeleton still remained. And in what seemed like no time at all, it'd be back in action. It's very That's terrifying. I gonna seem to mock him. A guard opened his cell. So yeah, obviously you have to go to use another SCP to maybe destroy this thing. Which I like how they do that. I said it in the last reaction video. I think it's pretty cool when they use like own cre their own creatures to like try to destroy something. Pretty unique. I like it. A door staring disdainfully at the disgraced researcher. That same guard had slammed his head against a wall a month earlier. One of his friends had apparently been killed in the legendary 096 containment breach that set this whole sordid thing mm. in motion. Rip. Up and at him, scumbag, he said in a gruff, surly voice. Well, P90 gun a gun there? Gun on the doctor he knew wouldn't fight back. They need you in test chamber six. Dr. Dan allowed himself a small grin, imperceptible to the guard who clearly hated his guts. They'd mm. approved his 096 versus 682 cross test. Yep. Marvelous. How marvelous. It improved to all it. the others, it would seem Not like surprised. just one more. But I don't think that would be the best one to fight it with. 682 cross tests. He thought it darkly funny. In his eyes, the Foundation had no hope of ever killing SCP-682. Its defining quality was being impossible to kill. Yeah. And it didn't present nearly the threat to the entire world that 096 posed. Yeah, Their that was fast. futile attempts to murder the lizard were little more than a money sink to justify the site's exorbitant funding. But perhaps he could turn this to his benefit. Maybe SCP-682 would hold the secret to actually killing off his nemesis. Within 30 hours, Dr. Dan had his disappointing answer. I Both it, anomalies yeah. had undeniably done a real number on each other, and Dr. Dan did take a kind of sick amusement in the mental trauma that SCP-682 had induced in 096. But ultimately, it was all for nothing. 682 had skinned 096. It's like when an unstoppable object means- wait. When an unstoppable object meets an immovable force. Or when an immovable object meets not, that thing. That's like, yeah. That's what this is like. Six alive and melted off its flesh with acid. But once again, that indestructible skeleton stood firm. Exactly. This had been the 27th termination attempt since the incident. The 27th failed termination. I could have told you that wouldn't work. Dr. Dan they just said a skeleton himself. was invincible. I couldn't break. 096's skeleton kept defeating them. 
Even their most ardent attempts to penetrate the bones and destroy the creature within had failed. During a previous attempt, they tried to access the brain by putting a diamond-hard drill into its eye sockets. Of course, it was the drill that actually broke, yeah. much to Dr. Dan's seemingly tireless frustration. Needless to say, in the debriefing interview with Dr. Carver, a researcher who once would have considered him a colleague, he wasn't in high spirits. If he managed to kill this thing, then he would always be the hero who made a terrible sacrifice in order to save many more lives. If he didn't kill 096, he was little more than the monster who murdered all those innocent people for nothing. Though you'd never hear him say it out loud. Damnable, indestructible skeleton, this monster would be long dead already. If only there was some way to break the creature's bones. That's when it hit him. Exactly. SCP-173. 173 can break any bone. A, a sculpture, my friend. Icon, often overlooked because of its more silent but deadly style but undeniably one of the most frightening and dangerous anomalies out there. Yeah, it literally. Racked up a it's terrifying, It's a terrifying, shocking bro. body count since it was first interred at Site-19 in 1993, one broken neck at a time. And it's one of the few creatures out there that even the hard-to-destroy reptile himself is utterly terrified of. Perhaps yeah, obviously. I mean, the thing literally, has a PhD if, you, in if you blink it, candidate to vandalize if you blink it all, it's over. I mean, literally. Ray. Once his proposal was greenlit for initial testing, Dr. Dan arranged for the shy guy, with a bag over his head of course, to be brought into a testing chamber with the ever-stoic SCP-173. When mm. all of the researchers and when it gets real were here. outside, all it took was a single blink to make all of Dr. Dan's darkest dreams come true. In the nanoseconds his eyes were closed, he heard the most beautiful sounds in the world. A loud, fleshy crunch and a pained howl from 096. He opened his eyes to an equally wondrous sight. 096 doubled over at an unnatural angle. Its spine snapped between the fourth and fifth vertebrae, spinal fluid yeah. leaking down the creature's flank. That How did they not think of that earlier? sculpture had done it. It had actually damaged the integrity of the Shy Guy's skeleton. It was at that moment that Dr. Dan knew he could kill this thing. Admittedly, there was a containment breach shortly after that when the bag slipped off of 096's head, and it charged through the nearby steel wall, killing multiple people before yeah, being subdued and recontained. But when it comes to projects involving Dr. Dan, a mere handful of innocent people being killed sits comfortably within the acceptable margin of error. A That's day better later, than Dr. Dan was standing 7 billion people board, dying with agents, researchers, and even a few members of the O5 Council in attendance. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how this entire foundation didn't think of this before. Because, like, 173's entire thing is that he can break anything, right? So, if you have an unbreakable object, you would just... Put them together. I mean, that, that's that's how it works in my brain. I'm not a scientist. Have a way to bring the wretched existence of 096 to an absolute halt. His plans were approved. Yeah. Not long after, he was putting them into motion. Dr. Dan was surrounded by researchers and heavily armed guards as 173 was escorted into the test chamber with a forklift. 096 was there, still bagged. Off to the side was a giant tub of hydrofluoric acid connected to a hose and injector attachment. If this didn't work, nothing would. Everyone would stood back too. in a safe zone as 173 was released to do its thing. Crunch. Just like the previous time, 096's spine had been successfully snapped. Spinal fluid dribbled down its skin. Everyone had rushed into the chamber. One group kept 173 isolated with their stairs. The mm -hmm. other headed by Dr. Dan prepared the acid injector and shoved it into the breach in 096's spine. As the acid was pumped by the gallon into 096's bones, the creature let out the most horrifying wail. I would say so. That would probably hurt, my friend. As more acid was pumped in, melting those indestructible bones from within. The creature even began to vomit acid as it panicked, melting the bag off of its own head. Some panicked and averted their gaze. Dr. Dan didn't. He stared directly at the creature's face Dude, for the first time this is messed as up. it melted in front of him with nothing short of pure elation. Had he won? Had he actually won? The creature let out a gurgling shriek and the guards opened fire. Their bullets splattered into the monster's melting flesh and bones as it hollered and shrieked. They didn't let up. 
firing up and down its body, spraying it with white-hot lead. It began to melt and bubble away, expanding into a great, gruesome puddle wow. on the floor. Wow, it worked. <laughs> crazy, dude, Dan, crazy dude made it work. Like a madman. Even as the guards grabbed him and dragged him away from the foul-smelling, greasy mess, bubbling with chemical life, he just kept laughing. Even though he knew the death of 096 meant an equally swift death of his own, it didn't matter. It had all been wow. for something. A soul for a soul, you could say. Was saved. It was over. He'd finally won. Now go check out SCP-096. I like it. I like that. That's a good idea. I mean, like I said, I probably would have thought of that earlier. Again, I'm no scientist, but I feel like that's the first thing you would think of. If you have something indestructible, you get another SCP that can break indestructible things. Okay, that's just what I'm, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to see more reactions, let me know in the comments. Um, check out Spoogly, my SCP channel. Lots of uploads over there. I'm going to be doing more and more um, videos over there in the Brugly editing style. So if you like that, uh, sub to that channel. That's all I got to say. Thank you for everything. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.